Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. I am joined as ever by Nadio Gamer. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. And uh, we're putting down rails. Yeah. Lots of rails. Lots of rails. Oh, there's a power pole missing in the middle. Why is that? Uh, I think it's because there was a tree in the way. Uh, yeah, we're putting in way too many rails than we actually need for here. But that's because... I only have a four-way T-junction. I don't have a two-way one, which I probably need to invest in. Uh, yeah, that could be useful. All right, so where do we make the station here? Uh, there's not really enough space to put it here, is there? If we got rid of that top line. Uh, no. Can we put it one, two, three... Uh, how about putting it up here, maybe? You want to turn the rails again? Oh, um. uh, no, actually, no, I don't, because all the uh, belts, they come down this way. So uh, we want what about station. actually moving the two, the two center lines and then putting the rail on, yeah. on here? Because this is only going to be for one thing, isn't it? It's yeah, that's right. Good, good idea. And then the train can come along the top line, go to the bottom one, and then the station can be on the bottom line. Yeah. That's the plan. Aha. So, do I have any rail stops? No, I don't. I have one. One is enough. Okie dokie. There you go. Thank you. So, where the hell did it go? There. Yeah. So if we stick the train stop there. Will that work? Yeah. Yep, that should work. And then... Do something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then right. the train can come along and then it can choose whatever track it wants to go on. If it wants to go north for whatever reason. Why it should ever need to go north, I don't know. But Me neither, but never mind. All right, so uh, do you have any uh, trains and cars on you? Uh, I'll go get some. I can make one. <laughs> Uh, I can't even do that. I'll, I'll go get some stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, all right. Ooh, I should use my car. Do, do we have cars yet? I don't remember. Yes, yes, we have a car. Right, that's the layout. So, oh. oh, there it is. Um, uh, yeah, might as well use fast inserters for input. Although, I don't think we need to. We don't need to use fast inserters to actually fill the chest, do we? Uh, we don't technically, but uh, it'll fill the train up faster. If we do, what well, what I mean is, you use fast inserters to fill the train from the chests, but you can use normal inserters to fill the chests from the belt. Because then, by the time the trains come down, because the belts are only yellow belts at the moment, aren't they? So, uh, yeah, yeah, they are. At the moment, they are. Need some steel plate. That's enough for one. I need some iron plate. Oh, I don't know if I have to do a three into one. <clears throat> I don't know how to ever build split it properly. <laughs> uh, 
I, I need iron anyway. So. I'm really feeling as if I, I, I should I should go online and have a look at how spaces work because I just kind of make it up. That might be an idea. Build a car. Well, just make it up. Oh, okay, I can do that. <laughs> uh, more still and and we know that uh, putting in this many rails is a complete waste of resources at the moment. Yeah, but we don't but that's care. the blueprint I, I, I've made. So, yeah, we're just going to kind of go with it and then yep. figure out from there. The thing is, wh where is the actual iron smeltery going to go? That's a good question. I was actually just thinking the same thing. Um, how, how about how about where that train stop called Michael Phelan yeah. um, is... Um, instead of having that at T-junction, make it a crossroads. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, actually, would we need to? I'm just wondering whether we could just literally just that space below that iron patch, make that whole section. Yeah, uh, yeah, just below the iron patch. Then we don't actually need yeah. the train there, but we'll need it for unloading when we hook up other yeah. iron patches. Yeah. So then, so then we, we can we can run stuff off of it and and figure out a parking lot and whatnot and yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okie doke. Let's make I'm, I'm stuck. Uh, let me out. Well, train. Don't want any of that. Uh, and I need some steel as well. Have well, lots of steel. Lots of steel. Packs on me. I was questioning that last episode. I somehow managed to get military and science packs, uh, uh, military and uh, the blue ones. Yeah. On me, and I just don't know how I did it. Me neither. Oh, we need to research. Uh... Give me. Do we have electric furnaces yet? Uh, yes, we do. Awesome. Then we can go straight to that for the military. Yep. Uh, oh, and the other thing that I was kind of looking at that is uh, uh, nuclear power. Yeah, <laughs> we should. How close would we start working towards uh, that as well? Yeah. Because I feel as if we're going kind to of, uh, run out of power very soon if we aren't already. Yeah. I know I did some nuclear things last time, but did I actually duplicate? Mm. We got some. Oh, we got uranium processing. Cool, cool. Uh, do I have any everything I need? I need more belts. Where are our belts? I should grab some chests as well, but I do. But if we're going with the plan of having the iron smeltery just below that iron patch, yep, uh, then we do need the four rails because we're going to have a lot of trains coming in with iron to that smeltery area. And we that's are... true, and we don't, we don't actually need a station here then, do we? No, we, we don't. We the stuff straight down for that one. Yeah. So uh, I will pick up the station. And then we can... Um, then we need a parking lot for trains as well. And we're going to need, uh, I'm guessing, four or five stations for unloading iron, something like that. That's even enough. The thing that we need to do is unload them all onto 
um they all need to go into a giant like belt array and yeah. then that array needs to get split to where it needs to go to so i like last time we did it where i built it so this train feeds those small trees and this train feeds those small trees yeah it needs to they they need to come together in a in a in a merger splitter thing So if we, let's say we do four train stops with, how many unloaders do we want? Uh, uh, three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I'm thinking, um, so, so we're doing four car, four cars, right? So... If we do, uh, oh, oh, what? Did I not copy these into the uh, game one? Oh, uh, you did. Uh, I did, but they're not there anymore. No, that's because I took them out. I, I thought I just uh, copied them. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. It's, it's just I, I I noticed last time I was doing this, I made a mistake with some of the, the uh, rail signals. Mm -hmm. And it was back again. I'm like, hang on a moment. That's not right. That's a... Okay, so I, I, I took them out uh, because I thought that would just um, uh, yeah, no, copy them. It, uh, That's a bit of a weird fine. system. I, I put them back in. Yeah, you have to, you, you have to mm -hmm. click on each one. Like right click on it and then there's a button called copy at the top yeah of it. weird so but okay okay that's that's too far but that doesn't fine. that's fine yeah. so we're talking down here that we'll have the smelteries right in this area yes yeah right so that means blowing up trees no 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 it doesn't yes it does you just want to block trees I do, but we we do need to as well if we want to have the smell trees here because there are a lot of trees here. You don't have to clear the whole area. Don't forget, you can let the trees live in the little gaps and stuff. Yeah, but it's easier to clear them. Then they can grow back <laughs> after. <laughs> then they can grow back after. I'm okay with that. I should have. I, I should have turned up the ground speed so they just grow really really fast. <laughs> Right. So, will you make parking lot and and train stations? Then I'll start setting up a um, a smeltery. Uh, yep. 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 I can do that. I just need to obviously fill all the trains pretty much down into one track. Down. Oh, I actually need. We need to make some of these electronic electric furnaces if we want to use them. Uh, yeah, I suppose you could do. Um, so for that, we need stone brick, mass circuits, and steel plate. Now, how do I want to do this pin up thing? We are making advanced circuits, right? Yeah, we are. Yes, yeah. And do we have, we have stone there? We don't have stone brick, but that's fine. We can get that. All right. So, whoops. As usual, trees are in the way. No, trees are never in the way. Always trees are happy, the living there, doing their thing. And you're just like, nope, I hate the trees, kill the trees. Well, and where, when they're interfering with, with my plans, 
they, they have to go. these here. First we need to make stone brick. Which we're gonna need actually can I make stone brick? I can. Let's ah they have to be made in a furnace. Okay. But I have some stone brick on me. So all I need for an electric furnace is some steel plate. Why are there so many tree stumps down here? Uh, don't ask me. Someone came by and blew them up for some reason. Ah, uh, robots. Robots, I love you. You are so fantastic. Right, you blew these trees up, yet left the stumps behind. Very inefficient explosives. Yeah. How long does it take to make a stone brick? I don't know. Oh, we're going to have... Do you know what? I, I... The stone coming in here. I guess we don't need fast inserters for it. <clears throat> we need to make our robots faster. Yeah. But I actually think we need... Uh... We need some more tech to be able to do that. Because I, I already did work a robot speed 2. Come on, robot. You can do it. I believe in you. Because rather than do it exactly, I'm going to do it straight. Okay, some underground leaves. Which I need iron plate. And how many splitters do I have? 15, that's enough for now. Alright, so there's. Oh, that's not what I want. Uh, well, we're, we're still covered for power for a while. But once I'll we get our electric furnaces up and running, we won't be. Ah, okie dokie. Alright, so that's that. And then... Uh, what am I making? Electric furnaces. And we need steel and advanced circuits. So steel plate and advanced circuits can go on the same line. Which means we need the steel to come up here. I think I'll actually turn this around. So we're gonna need stone brick for other oh, things. Right. And let's see, one, two. Oops. Ah, so if you actually put the, the the parking lot on a diagonal, you can save space with it. I didn't realize that. Uh, yes, I, I think that's right. Yeah, because you can't fit a, a, a stop between the rails if you run it on a straight. Ah, okay, so the original way I did it was the better way. Damn it. Okay. Well, I'm going to do it right now anyway. Whatever. And we'll place these things up here. 
seven, ten. Got it. How long does it take to make a steel furnace or an electric furnace? Five seconds. Okay. So let's make four of these. Lines. And then we'll have an output line, which will stick them into a chest. Actually, let's do this instead. And it doesn't need to be a fast. Please do though. And then right. So if we stick a splitter here. We have oh, we have a stone brick, and then put an underground here. Okay, so here. where where are you? Are oh, you looking? Okay, right. So I was making sure you're not putting in the. Uh, the array no. so I know where I'm going uh, right so how do I now build a loads of training slots I need how many training slots do I need four you say want to go with that yeah I think that'll do <clears throat> I'm not sure though we can always change it later if need be uh yeah, I'll start as close to the water as I can, shall I? Yeah. And make sure to leave space to be able to uh, do it. So I need to get rid of those. Do I have any explosives on me? I do not. I do. Yeah. And then I need to clear out some trees, but I'm going to do it the friendly way. Go, robots, go. Bring me all that glorious wood. We are producing. Oh, might be an idea to make uh, some output as well. <clears throat> but they come down, they can pack up there, and they go this way. And then from here, they want to go to. Alrighty. Stations vertically, and then we can, yeah. We can unload from both sides of the tracks then, can't we? Yeah. That yep. makes sense. I really feel as if I should start from the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, that's a nice straight line up against the rails. And if I start over there by the water, I'm not sure where I'm going to be. And then we might come over and have like only one spare gap to put in another line. Yeah, uh, okay. Roll one, that one there. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna pick up so, some grenades. You have electric furnaces. Yes, there. Awesome. Ooh, that's... What sort of space do I want to leave? Just, I suppose I want to this down. You can get in there, you can get in there. Two. Something like that. Get to walk along. Take some of my stone that I have on me and stick it here. Ready. And here, let's so we'll do something like that. Mm 
There's going to be a large waste of space up there that I can't do anything about. Our red circuits are draining fast, but we'll... As soon as we have enough electric furnaces, we can it'll fill up and then we'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to be the most efficient use of space here. Yeah, it's fine. If I run a line like this... I need some inserters as well. So that's not going to be enough. What I have on me. Let's get rid of some of this coal. Stuck. <clears throat> I think that's where I'm going with this. And then we can get rid of some of that. Good. Do have a lot of stone brick being made, I just didn't realize. Just stop there. It's a there, yeah. <coughs> um. Never mind. Now we have more stone brick being made. Uh, I even think I set up the stone brick that we had being made already. But, uh, uh, I think he did actually, yes. Now I set up another one, a small one for, um, for, for electric furnaces. That's not enough, is it? Alright. No. Let's... Oh, I really feel like I'm doing this badly. I just... dropped off all my coal, so my car won't have... any fuel, so I guess I'll just run. What are you doing? Trying to put in a station. But okay. I, I'm... Yeah. Because if I put in a station like that... Mm -hmm. And then that will come around and return to there. And then... It'll come out, it'll go out up here. Okay. Yeah. But I really feel as if there's a better way to do this. Because there's this giant gap of wasted space here. Yeah. I can't think of any. What about... Oh, wait, what? Hang on. No, that's great. Yeah, so it comes along that top line. It goes there. There's space for 10 trains to park up and wait, and then they can come down. They'll go down to whatever. There'll, there'll be more than one station, obviously. There'll be multiple stations. Yeah. And they can go down and drop off at whatever station they need to drop off at. Mm hmm. And then. They go back on that top rail and go and rejoin and go back to the system. So it works, but so we'll have the stations vertically, 
Uh, how about... I mean, what you could do is... Uh, here, come about like this, and then... Do something like that. And then have the stations vertically. I, guess I, I could put the stations up there. That that was the other thing I was thinking of, just just going up and having the stations there. Yeah. And then, and then have belts go down and just feed directly down. I think that, that would work as well, because then the stations could just lead directly to that top line. That would probably work better. That would make more sense. There's people probably screaming, going, what are you doing? Probably. Probably. We are out of time, though, so we'll have to do it next we are, time. We are. We are out of time, so, yeah. We'll have to come back next time and carry on. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and we hope to see you again next time, where we will try and get the rails a bit better. Or I will. Uh, <laughs> and until then, as always, have fun. Bye-bye.